The voyage to immortality is about to begin. No matter the challenges ahead, stay focused. And no guts, no glory. Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, yeah, we're headed to another place today, as per the usual, as per every time we update you on things. Uh, today we're actually heading to the Columbus Farmer's Market, which is in New Jersey, which is, it's South Jersey still, right? Yeah, it's like Burlington County. Um, it's the biggest farmer's market in the tri-state area. Delaware Valley. Is that what the tri-state area is called? Pennsylvania, Delaware. I don't know. I haven't really seen, like, too many mountains, though. I feel like, you know, this is a huge valley if we actually live in a valley. Brandon, the Appalachian Trail goes through Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. See, guys, look, we're also an educational channel. Yeah, because Brandon's bad at, you know, geography and stuff like that. Well, I mean, if I was standing on top of a mountain, I would know it. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So anyway, the plan is pretty much the same. Basically, just, you know, get any type of uh, GameCube games mostly and some other cool stuff. So uh, once we're on the road and everything, we will update you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we just got out of the first game store in the Columbia Farmer's Columbus. Market. Columbus. Columbus Farmer's Market. And yeah, once we get back to the car, we'll show you guys what we picked up. We got some. All right, guys. So we are uh, back in the car right now, Wait, and I'm eating, no, it's fine. They they should see the cookie you're eating. <laughs> All right, here, there we go. There it is. All right. So just focusing on my face because Eve's a little bit shy about what she eats. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we just got done, and oh, also this is the place we were at. Uh, this is the Columbus <laughs> Farmers Market, not the Columbia Farmers Market. <laughs> But, um, so, yeah, the complex here, it's kind of like a huge, um... It's like a horseshoe. Yeah, exactly. It's like a huge horseshoe. But apparently they have a Goodwill on site here, which is kind of cool. So we're going to check some stuff out. When we went into the game store, um, the... The store was called Video Nuts, actually, with a Z, but uh, the guy in there, he was a really cool guy, so if you're ever over in this area, go see him, because he has a lot of cool stuff and a lot of good prices, too, and once we actually show you what we picked up, we can mm -hmm, demonstrate mm -hmm. for you. Also, not related to video games, but there is a really good bakery in there that it was the end of the day and everything was a dollar, so we got some giant cinnamon sticks, some cookies like what Eve's eating, yep. and uh, yeah, some other stuff. So anyway, after we check out the Goodwill, if we find anything good, we will start the review on what we picked up today, so stay tuned. Yep. All right, guys, so just a little bit of an update for you. So we ended up, uh, yeah, going to more than one Goodwill, and we found a couple things, and then we just went to a Toys R Us that... Uh, apparently is going out of business or whatever but yeah so this is what they do and we figured this out they have a big sign in the store that says everything up to 30% off but what they did was they took every discount in the store and took it off of the product so they raised everything back up to full retail price and then most things were like 10% off. There was barely anything that was the full 30% off. Yeah, so like this week, uh, the Samus Amiibo is apparently on sale for $10. So one would assume, oh, it's maybe 10 or 20% off of that. Nope. It's marked back up to $13 and then 10% off of that. It's yeah, annoying. it's kind of lame. But anyway, so in other news, uh, I know when we were outside of the uh, farmer's market and you guys saw us, it was a pretty nice day out and everything, so now it looks like this. Watch the snow. Yeah. So pretty much it has gone from the normal, uh, you know, normal weather to complete snowmageddon in... It started snowing about two hours ago, and now we have a couple inches, and the roads are pretty bad. That's, you know, classic New Jersey weather. It was 50 degrees earlier today. Yeah, it was like 50, 55 or so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so uh, that's what's going on so far. So we have one more stop to make, and then, yeah, Wait, reveal are we gonna... time. What's oh, up? Reveal it later? Oh, later. yeah. We could... uh, I just ah, grabbed it. Yeah, well, uh, we'll do it later. Don't worry. Ah, it won't be okay. as long for you guys as it will be for us, so <laughs> we'll see you in a second. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so uh, yeah, it's 
pretty late from last time, but we finally made it home after the snowstorm and everything. So, uh, now, uh, maybe if I, yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm lit up a little bit. So anyway, uh, we're just going to go over some of the stuff that we picked up real quick. And yeah, so the first place we stopped at was Video Nuts in the Columbus Farmer's Market. Yep. And uh, Eve got a bunch of channel-related stuff, but I'm just going to show you something I picked up. I actually... Oh, well, that's nice and vibrant. Okay. Uh, this uh, is Fatal here, Frame. Here, why don't I hold okay, it? Okay, yeah, good idea. Okay. Hold on, let me see. No, here, tilt it up. Yes? Sort of. No, stop moving the camera. Okay. <laughs> you do the thing. Okay. There we go, there I got we it. Go. You just... I picked up Fatal Frame for... PlayStation 2. Uh, this is a game that came out uh, when I was still reading Tips and Tricks magazines. 2002. Yeah, exactly. I was a little scaredy cat back then, so I read the entire walkthrough, so I could probably describe how to beat the entire game to you, but I've never played it myself, so yeah. I'm, oh, yeah, that means when we do, you know, like, we should play this game. Like, I could play yeah. and you could tell me what to do or something. Yeah, or, exactly. Or you play or whatever, but I'm, I'm interested in seeing the gameplay because it's an old horror game. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like old, so old, it, old 3D horror game. It's going to be a pretty cool game. and we'll, we'll probably do, like, a Let's Play of it on the channel because we need games to do Let's Plays with anyway. Okay, horror so. Horror games are fun. If you want to take it away with your fun stuff. Yeah, so this is some other stuff that we picked up. Um, they had, like, the $3 bin of the... There we go. See, you just need a, a less dark game. But okay, this is Zapper if you can't see it. And you play as a little grasshopper and you have electrical powers. And is I had this. Cricket or grasshopper? I think a grasshopper. Oh, okay. Um, So I had this same exact game for Game Boy Advance and I beat it and I had a lot of fun with it, but I never had it for GameCube. And once again, that goes back to the oh, well, why don't you have all these GameCube games? Because I had them for the Game Boy Advance and my parents did not want to buy two copies of the same game. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, okay, so they also, uh, had some booklets, and these are definitely some, you know, can you, here, move this forward. It's because of these lights, Brandon. Yes, okay, we got it. So we got Mario Party 5 and Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, booklets only, but they were pretty cheap. So if we find the copies of the games and they don't have the booklets... We already got them. Which tends to happen a lot. A lot of the times, like, I don't get if people just, like, throw their booklets out, but... Yes. Yeah. Anyway, another, yeah. uh... I know for a fact when it was the cardboard boxes, yeah. people were like, oh, oh I would I just I, I would rip right stuff. through those things, like Super <laughs> Nintendo, yeah. you know, uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, yeah, uh, all that stuff. Nintendo 64. It's like, oh, I, never I just... had that one, so I never got a chance well, to. Well, for me, I would just, oh, I just need the cartridge. Why do I need all this other junk? And I have no boxes of anything, so... Yep. It doesn't matter. I traded all those away anyway for like a dollar each. So stupid. But here's something that's kind of hard to find. Here we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Hold the camera here next time, okay? Excellent, because the light's perfect. So here's something that we've been looking for for a little while now that's actually a little bit harder to find. On GameCube. It's it's yeah. very easy to find on, on any other system, which is yeah. hilarious, because that seems to be Didn't the case. Didn't come out on GameCube first? No, that oh. was Resident Evil 4. Well, yeah, I know that, but I... Uh, so there was Resident Evil Code Veronica without the X. No, that That's was the, the Japanese version. arcade version. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, huh, this was an arcade game? Uh, yes, it was a light gun shooter, and it was almost nothing like the actual game. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so we got this. Uh, also, you know, I'm going to have to fact check that because that's just off the cuff It's okay, then me. you put the asterisks at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Thing. So obviously, CIB, I'm not going to be paying like the going rate for a non-CIB. But yeah, so discs look clean. We'll test this out later. Brandon's really good with Resident Evil games, so he'll probably be playing it. Yeah, I've beaten this game before. Yeah, so that was pretty cool that we were able to find it for you know a price that I was willing to pay. They also had... Uh, Gotcha Force, which is a, I think, uh, does Capcom make that? Once again, we'll have to fact check that. But, okay, so that is a really hard to find game, but they were basically selling it for, like, the complete price. 
and it was missing the booklet. So it's like, well, who's going to be buying it for that price? That's such a drastic price difference. It was also funny because uh, next to Fatal Frame, they had uh, they had Dokapon Kingdom, just yeah. the disc, which is funny though because uh, every other game around it was in the. 10 to $15 range. Yeah. <laughs> and the sticker was obscured for Dokapon Kingdom. So I figured, oh, okay, yeah, let's get this. This is a great game. You know, maybe it's cheaper than what it is online. Nope. As soon as he moved the thing that was covering it, that was a $90 game. So, yeah, we did not pick that one up. Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day exactly. we will get that. It is not GameCube related, but it's an Atlas game and it's a lot of fun. And our friend Sean showed it to us, and we want our own copy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Sean, uh, this is a shout out to you for finding uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance while you were looking for your Senses Fail CD. Congratulations, man. Yeah, congrats. I'll hand it over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on, we went to a Goodwill after that. Um. Oh, okay, so yeah. Uh found this One Piece game for the Wii, and, you know, it's actually in there, unlike the, uh, <laughs> the other game that I picked up at a thrift store, which was, um, uh, what's, not typing of the House of the Dead Overkill for the Wii, but yeah. inside was Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 3. 3, but hey, it was 50 cents, so I wasn't gonna complain. Um, Which is funny, so a quick story, at that same Goodwill, we got there a little bit too late because some dude was checking out in front of us, and had a stack of games, you know, $3.99 each, bought all of them. These games included Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, Mario, uh, Mario Kart, Wii, you know, a bunch of fun games that would have been really fun to show you guys, but we'll just tell you about, you know, not getting Well, I have Smash Bros. Them. anyway, though. But yeah, yes. I know, but it would have been nice is. to have another copy. Yeah, we could have given it away to one Stop of these it. people. <sighs> yeah, exactly. We could have given it away to one of you guys. Yes. Okay, next up. Yeah, my car's going to turn off soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think this is the final thing that we we're going to talk about anyway. Yeah, it is. Okay, so a little while ago, there's a thrift store near my house that does this thing where if it's a loose disc, it's untested, they don't know if it's going to work or not, and they just say, it's a quarter. So, you know... It's your gamble for, you know, very, you know, small amount of money. You get the chance to, to take that home and see if it works. They're not going to try and clean it for you. They're not going to do anything because they do offer that. But I'm not paying $3 for a 25 cent game. So, uh, one of the games that I picked up was Enter the Matrix. And then I realized that that game actually has two discs. And I only have disc one. Well, until today, we <laughs> just randomly found... Enter the Matrix, it is the player's choice version, which some collectors despise, but, you know, the game's a game. Uh, CIB besides disc one, and there's disc two. So now the game is complete. Yeah, so, uh, just, just to run those odds, <laughs> this, uh, that we just happened to run into this and find this, a game that was missing a disc that we happen to have what the only thing I'm wondering about is like what if that was the disc from this game <laughs> I mean the the possibilities are endless I mean that is true that'd be pretty impressive if a game from like North Jersey found its way down to where I live and then we go up to the place where its origin was I'd be uh you know, pretty impressed. Um, I'm not really sure if there's a way to figure out which game came with what, because now, since this is a player's choice, that means there is another version of these same two discs. At least I think so. I don't really know. I don't know if on the player's choice they have, like, a different code number at the bottom or whatever. But... <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll so... figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we definitely... Yeah, so we got some cool stuff this weekend. Um, it was... And it's only Saturday. Yeah, exactly. And it's a holiday weekend, so we have Sunday and Monday to go on an adventure. Exactly, so you might get two videos this week. Maybe. Either that or we'll just load it for another week and not tell you about it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think uh, that'll be everything. Also, what I was going to say is, uh, do you oh, think we but... should just do the whole like Dolphin Quest sign-off thing only in our actual videos? Because for a vlog, it seems like it should be. I don't know. What you guys should do is comment on the video and tell us 
Because our our sign off thing is this is Brandon and Eve from Dolphin Quest reminding you to stay cool and don't flip out. Yes, <laughs> but I feel like it's just a bit too much for a vlog. So do me a favor, comment down below and let us know what you want us to do. Yeah, to our ten subscribers. Yeah, and, exactly. And to like the fifty viewers that okay, could have been different. Okay, you ones. know the, they're important people. Every single one of no, them. No, I know. I just want them to leave a comment. Yeah, so exactly. We're telling them they we need want to at least twenty thousand comments from all. All of you. And then if you do that, if we get 20,000, Brandon has to shave his head. Um, yeah. no. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yes. No, I'm not doing that because of <laughs> Facebook stuff, and I saw that happen. So, no, I will not yes. shave my head. Sorry, guys. Anyway, signing off before Eve comes up with more stuff that I don't we'll want to do. 19, See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>